Hi everybody! So in the first episode of this video tutorial, we developed a simple sales management application in 25 minutes without any coding. In this second episode, we'll improve the application using some advanced database features. The first thing I want to show you is calculated fields. Sometimes uh, for form field, uh, you don't need or you don't want an input from your user. You want to automatically compute the field value according to something. For example, according to some other field values. For example, you might have a table products containing the fields price, tax and total price. And you want the field total price to be computed as price plus tax. Okay, some of you are probably thinking that from a database design point of view, this introduces some redundancy. Uh, it is true, but it is a very simple and effective example to show how calculated fields work. To get this result, uh, you just need to fill for the field the total price in form configurator, the parameter calculated field function, setting the name of a custom function that will handle the calculation. Let's call it Databic Get Total Price. Then you need to write the function's code in the file include custom functions.php. Here is an example of this simple function. So this is the function that is triggered while you are filling a products form during an edit or insert operation. What is dollar params? Uh, dollar params is an associative array. If you are not familiar with programming, let's just say that here it's a variable that contains all the values of your form field. So return params price product plus params tax product just means for this field compute the value as the value of the field price plus the value of the field tax. Okay, so basically with dollar params uh, square brackets something, you get the value of a field for the specific form we are filling. Let's see the result. Uh, products uh, add a product, uh, price 20, tax 5, price plus tax uh, automatically computed. The function we have created is very, very simple. Uh, but it is a normal PHP function, so you can do whatever you want here. It can also be a very complex function, and you don't necessarily need to use the value coming from other fields. For example, let's say we have a calculated field that represents the price in US dollars that needs to be calculated according to the price in euros plus a 5% commission. We can use an online service like uh, Fixer.io that provides API to access the current euro-dollar conversion rate. And here is the simple function I wrote in this case. So what am I doing here? Uh, basically, with the first line, I asked to fix her the conversion rate, setting the base currency as a euro. You can try yourself this URL in your browser if you want. You can get a reply in JSON format with all the rates. Since it is JSON, I need to decode it with the second line of code. So now JSON data is an associative array that represents the information I got from Fixer, and in particular, dollar JSON data rates USD contains the euro dollar conversion rate. The last line just compute the value in dollar 
in dollars uh, starting from the price in euro and add a 5% commission. Let's try. Uh, insert a new product, uh, price, uh, price in dollars is automatically filled. Finally, I would like to highlight that a calculated field doesn't need to be displayed in your insert or edit form. For example, you can hide the price USD product field from the insert form, but if the field has a calculated field function set, the field value is computed anyway. Let's write admin permissions products price uh, USD product uh, insert no. Let's come back uh, to the products page. Let's try to add a new product. As you can see, the USD price product is not here anymore. Let's try to insert a product. The USD price uh, has been computed. Okay, so that's it. See you next time. Ciao!